Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me Sonia from Inner Order and Job. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can present the 9 tree lesson to your child. The main purpose of this lesson is to reinforce the concept of place value to your child. This will also help your child understand the concept that there can only be maximum of 9 in one column. For example, in units column when you are adding 1, 2 until 9 units and then if you ask your child what comes when you add one more unit beat, then it becomes 10. Then that will go into the new column that is 10's column. This is how we are going to explain this uh, place value for your child. So I am going to explain this and then after once your child is done practicing this ones, tens, hundreds and thousands using these uh, golden beads, I am going to show you how you can play the bang game. So you can give a tray, an empty tray to your child and write a number like this, write a number like this like 1724 and then ask your child to bring this quantity and then your child must bring like 1724 all these uh, golden beads in this tray and show you so I am going to show all this in this video so stay tuned till the end alright guys so let's get started guys ask your child to get the nine tray from the shelf so this nine tray has nine unit beads, nine ten bead bars, nine hundred boards, and one thousand. So we are going to start the lesson. We are going to start the lesson with the unit beads. So first, you are going to. This is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once you have nine unit beads, you can ask your child. What happens when we add one more unit beat? So your child may answer it becomes 10. So you have to let your child know there only maximum B, there can only be maximum of 9 units in one column. This is units column. So 9 unit beats. After 9 unit beats, when you add one more unit beat, it becomes 10. So we have 10. 10 bead bar or you can call this as 110 now 110 2 10s 3 10s 4 10s and you can ask your child what comes after 4 10s or 40 then your child will answer 50 or 5 10s 5 10s 6 10s or 60 7 tens, 8 tens, 9 tens. Now, now you can ask your child what comes after 9 tens. So what comes after 9 tens? You can let your child know that after 9 tens it will be 10 tens. That is nothing but 100. So this is 100. We are not going to put this in a tens place. So it goes into the hundreds place. So there can only be maximum of 9 units in any column. Okay, this is units, tens and hundreds. You can show your child. This is 90 and there is one more extra that is 10 beat bar. You can also count like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You can show this to your child. This is 100. Now,
this is 100 now let's add more 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 now you can ask your child when we add one more hundred it becomes ten hundred or you can say one thousand so we are going to put this one thousand in another column that is thousand column so this is how you can show your child this is ones or units tens hundreds thousands you can show your child this all nine hundreds become a cube you see this when you add one more hundred it becomes exactly like this but it is less of 100 see this it is less of 100 so one ten hundreds is nothing but one thousand all right guys let your child practice this many times then they will understand the quantities and then you can call this as a bank you can let your child know this is a bank and you can let your child know this is a bank okay now we are going to play a banking Alright guys, let's play a bank game. Now, tell your child that this is a bank. This is a 9 tray. We have just finished the 9 tray lesson. And now we are going to play a bank game. So you can let your child know this is a bank. Okay. And give your child an empty tray. Give your child an empty tray. And write a number a complex number on your tray on a paper on a piece of paper and ask your child to read out and help your child say 1724 so you can ask your child to get this much quantity from the bank now your child goes to the bank and gets the quantity so she can start 1000 700 for the first time you can show your child how to play the bank game like this like 1000 now 700 100 2 3 4 5 6 700 and then 20 110 2 tens 20 okay and then 4 you have 1 2 3, 4. So this is 1724. This is a very concrete way of playing this bank game. Children will definitely love this. And my son absolutely love playing this bank game and holding these golden beads. Alright. Once you can show one of the complex number to your child and then you can give one more number to do all by themselves so you can ask your child to put them back and then one more number and you can ask your child to read 1532 or you can give a three digit number as well like 532 or you can give a two digit number as well 32 you can start with two digit number then go to the three digit number and then go to the four digit number see how your child is understanding and where your child is at at what level and then you can give the numbers accordingly and help your child so 1532 so this is 1500 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and then 30. 
3 tens 1 ten 2 ten 3 tens and 2 1 2 so this is the amount or the quantity that is equal to this number and we get it from the bank so this is how you play the bank in and then you put them back Now you put them back. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, hit the like button and do consider subscribing. Uh, and also consider sharing this video with your friends and family who may need this. Alright guys, always stay joyful and stay humble. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye, take care.